vibe of the video today. We are going to be planning some content for the month of September. I'm talking YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, all of the things. I'm going to show you guys how I plan my content. I'm going to talk a little bit about social media. I feel like this is going to be a bit of a chattier vlog. If you want, grab a coffee. Let's go ahead and just talk all things social media. It's going to be a chill one. It's going to be a chatty vlog. So without further ado, let's get right on into it. So starting out with like the specifics of what I use to organize my content. I use Notion. I feel like that's not a surprise at all. Whether you're new here or you're not, I feel like everyone uses Notion nowadays. So I actually have a page called my personal brand. I have a couple pages in there where I share my content planner that has like my calendar and a, a rough schedule of what I'm gonna be posting. I also have a page for video ideas list. So if I have an idea of a certain YouTube video or a TikTok video, I will put that in there. And it's just overall really good organization. It's a great way to see physically what the plan is and the ideas are. And I can see it from both my laptop in my phone since they're synced up. So I'm gonna go ahead and start out by planning my YouTube. Now YouTube, my goal is just once a week posting. I did the twice a week posting over the summer and I really enjoyed that. However, my work life, I guess you could say, has been piling up and I'm still trying to figure out like a good routine to balance the two, my YouTube and, you know, being a social media manager and having content creation projects. So as of right now, I'm taking a break for the twice a week and I'm just like, the bare minimum is once a week. I do not want to miss a week. The first thing I do to get ideas is I will go to my Notion page with my video ideas list and just see what kind of ideas come to mind that make me think, oh, I can create this right now or this would be perfect to make in the month of September. I also like going on YouTube and seeing people in my related niche and seeing what kind of conversations they're talking about specifically in the UGC space or what kind of vlogs people are posting right now. The fall themed videos are coming so I want to plan a couple of videos. I want to do a video on how to create an Upwork profile as a UGC creator because there are a lot of opportunities on Upwork to create UGC content so I think I'm going to add that in to the calendar. Then I'm gonna click on this little sub page right here on my video ideas list page. And I'm going to copy the link. And then I'm gonna go to my content planner. I'm just gonna plug it in for next Friday, let's just say. I'm gonna hit new project template. Now, don't ask me how I got that. Um, I think it was one of the templates that I downloaded from some other YouTube channel, I can't remember. But their content creator template included this where you can plug in like title ideas for a specific video thumbnail research and it has all of these different things down to like the b-roll list the publishing checklist that thing that i just copied over on the video ideas list i'm actually just going to paste it on research and notes now if i did have like specific things i wanted to include in this video when i put it in the video ideas list um, I'm going to click this link and it will go straight to that page. So that's really awesome. Again, don't know how I got this, but, um, I think it came with a template. So I'm just going to write idea platform for YouTube and just leave it there. And it's cool because I can just pick this up and move it around if I want to. Now I kind of want like a fall related video. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go on YouTube. I actually have this playlist. It's called YouTubers to check out and it's all of these YouTubers that are kind of like related in my niche or like in the vlogging niche that I like their vlogs. Now I'm not necessarily copying the specific video that these people are posting. I'm just gathering ideas of what was popular back then and how I can twist it into my own kind of videos. So Chelsea Trevor, she's a huge vlogger right now. I believe she's big on TikTok. I'm not 100% sure, but I've seen her videos on my recommended all the time. So it looks like uh, fall clothing haul. She lives in the city, so days in the city. Productive Monday, day of my life, Mondays in my life. She did a fall clothing haul, Sunday reset. I feel like those kind of videos are going to pop off in the fall. Is like the reset and the night routine. So yeah, there's a lot of... Okay, so we're definitely going to do like a Sunday reset. I'm just gonna write Sunday reset and then the title ideas. I'm gonna write Sunday reset routine and then also getting my life 
together. Maybe I wanna do like a shop with me where I show like all the fall things and maybe I buy a few things and give like a haul. Another thing that, that I think about is what's going on in the month that I know ahead of time that I want to vlog or to keep in mind for my posting schedule. One of the things is actually next Monday, I'm going to an eye appointment. I think it would be really cool to do a day in my life vlog or maybe like a vlog where I just go to the eye appointment myself, maybe leave a little bit early and do like a solo date idea. I think that would be really cool. But these are some good ideas right now. So I'm just gonna go ahead and organize these ideas for next Friday. Maybe do a Sunday reset, getting my life together. I could film that this weekend and post it next Friday, the 16th. And then maybe I can do my solo date the week after. Let's see, I kind of want to do a Monday upload. So the how I got into UGC, I mean, that could be like a good video to like quickly bust out. Now the cool thing about having a set schedule and having your video ideas already planned out is you can figure out during your week when you're gonna be filming those. It's also really nice because I'm not scrambling of video ideas during the month and screwing myself when I have to upload the next day and I still have like no good ideas, I can just plan accordingly, which is really nice. So that's kind of what's going on. I guess I'm not uploading next Monday, but I will the next two Mondays, which is awesome. So next up is Instagram, TikTok, more short form videos. I'm gonna be completely honest. I like short form video way more than Instagram photos. And I know that's like such an unpopular opinion because a lot of people are saying make Instagram Instagram, like I totally 100% back that. But the thing about me is I don't like taking photos. Like I'm not a photographer. I don't like going out in public and like taking photos. A lot of my photos on my feed is like me at home trying to make my life look more interesting because I just cannot take photos in public. But weirdly enough, I can take videos in public. I already have a log of content that is like ready to be edited or ready to be posted. So that's why I feel more confident about posting short form video this month. I'm not putting a number on like how many posts a week I'm gonna be doing on all these different platforms. As of right now, I'm just gonna be filming short form content and then just posting it on Instagram Reels, TikTok, and Pinterest. That's all I'm really doing right now. And I think this is a really good strategy because it is just so hard to balance all of these different platforms as a creator. And something I gotta remember is not everyone follows me everywhere. I have four completely different audiences. So it's not like people are gonna see repeating content all the time. So my goal for me for this month is just to post because I'm not doing any posting right now and I really should. All I'm doing is just consuming and consuming and consuming. So now that I just went over that whole rant, the way that I find content is scrolling on TikTok and Instagram Reels. If I see a trend, I'll save it to a favorites folder. Now, I don't have a specific like planning strategy with short form content as much as I do with YouTube. Usually the process of that is I'll film the video, edit it, put it in a log, and I'll just immediately put it in my drafts. And that's the thing I'm gonna be working on is hitting post. To start achieving this goal, I'm actually gonna post a reel right now because we're coming up on a few weeks of my last post on Instagram. So luckily, I already have a video that I have filmed and edited. It's actually the video that I filmed on my CapCut YouTube video, the AirPods video. I finally shot a cover photo for Instagram reels and I'm like, it's official. I need to post this, there's literally no excuse. Here's what the cover photo looks like. And then on the profile grid, that's what it looks like. I think it's so cute. So with that being said, here is my first reel post in a few weeks. And it's a good time because my other reels are like popping off right now. So you gotta like update it. I hope you guys enjoyed. This was kind of like a little therapy session for me. Let me know if you like this kind of like style vlogs where I just like sit down and just like talk and like plan and all that kind of stuff because I will definitely do this again. So don't forget to subscribe. Follow me on my socials if you want to follow like my posting journey and all of that. With that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and I'll see you guys in my next video really soon. Bye!